Hey guys, I'm Daniel Shaw here at SHOT Show 2017 for Get Zone. We're going around looking at new products in a variety of categories. Drop tasty. Let's take a look. Get back or I'll tase you. My first stop was at Taser to try out the new Pulse. The Pulse is a self-defense tool with a 15-foot range and a continuous 30-second ride that makes it a great option. The idea is to drop the Taser Pulse and run away after activation, giving you a nice head start while the attacker is hating life. Next, Meprolite enters the micro red dot for handgun market with the micro RDS. The coolest part about what they've done is that they've created a quick detach mount that mounts to the rear sight allowing the user to quick detach the optic and use standard irons if the optic fails. While we were at Meprolite, I checked out the FT Bullseye. This was my first time seeing the FT Bullseye in person and I must say that I love the idea and the innovation behind it. When the gun is pointed properly, the ring and center dot pops allowing the shooter to maintain a target focus with a soft or peripheral focus on the sight. Also under the Mako group is Fab Defense. I took a look at their inside the waistband holsters as well as the Scorpus holsters. The inside the waistband holsters had a unique design that is worth trying out and I hope to do that soon. The Scorpus holsters managed to use a trigger finger release mechanism while having it in a location that is intuitive and well above the trigger. Fab Defense also has a new solution for you Glock 43 carriers. If you carry a small handgun with a low capacity magazine for maximum concealment, it's a great idea to carry an extra magazine for more ammunition as well as stoppage clearance. The Fab Defense Glock 43 magazine extension is a solid design that adds four extra rounds to that extra 43 mag in your pocket. It doesn't get much more fun than making Ryan Hoover uncomfortable. I'm pretty sure he doesn't feel pain, so uncomfortable is good enough. The stress vest was as advertised. When shot, it sends an electric charge to the belt pack that causes involuntary movement and extreme discontent. Ryan and I are planning on using the system for some force-on-force -force training in the future, and if you run a school or dojo, or you just have bad kids, you might check them out. At the Walker's booth, I found the Razer X and Razer XV. It's a neck-worn device that features retractable electronic in-the-ear hearing protection with 31 decibels of noise reduction. The XV model also includes Bluetooth so you can take a phone call or listen to your favorite tunes while protecting your ears from gunfire or noisy kids on an airplane. For you hunters out there, new from Stealth Cam is a 4K 30 megapixel camera with a 100 foot infrared range. Stealth Cam has some awesome wireless technology that allows the user to check a camera from practically anywhere. While we were there, we checked out the Mantis Pro 400 Predator Call small and lightweight and even allows streaming from a paired device so you can download new calls or play some music with your buddies after the hunt. The Optical Dynamics Cows Light was one of the most unique products we saw at the show. It doesn't reflect light, it projects light. Optical Dynamics seem to be targeting the predator hunting market, but I think this could have been a very useful tool in a military application in the turret of a gun truck for mounted ops and possible IED investigation from a safe distance. Back at range day, we checked out the Gemtech Integra. Gemtech teamed up with Nemo to put together a suppressed upper receiver that even though has a 10.5 inch barrel, manages to be a single tag stamp item at 16.1 inches overall. I've been using the Gemtech G5 for years and I personally attest to Gemtech quality. I also shot the new Lunar 45, which is a modular can that allows the user to choose between 8.5 inches or 6.9 inches. I have also heard reports that it's rated for up to 300 blackout, subsonic. The new product center had a lot of cool new products that I would have completely missed out on the show floor. Next year, this is going to be one of my first stops to see what I need to go check out later in the week. This helmet cam was really cool, and it's appropriately named the Mohawk. Definitely going to go on the list of things that I must have very soon. I also like the look of the new Trench Tech eye protection from Gargoyles, because looking cool is half the battle. In the new product center, I took a look at the Caldwell Stinger for some upcoming rifle reviews. The Stinger's not your granddad's shooting rest. It's an efficient and lightweight design at a great price point of under $100. Hey guys, thanks for watching our coverage of SHOT Show 2017. Stand by for a lot more coming this year 
from me and Get Zone. I'm Daniel Shaw. Thanks for watching.